Okay, this is the west side of the yard. Um, there's Boat Ramp Road right there. Comes down from um, probably midway from the east side of the yard off our main driveway. You can see why it's called Boat Ramp Road. Everybody puts a boat in here. Actually, not everybody because nobody ever comes down here. Anyway, um, taking a walk on the west side. This uh, road wasn't here before. A um, friend of mine put this in with his bulldozer, which made it a lot easier to walk because before it was just all brushed, just like that. So it's really difficult to get through. You probably walk along the edge of the water, but then you'd step in a lot of mud and stuff. The, the terrain might have been more like that right there, but still having the road in makes it a lot easier. And headed toward the north because this is the west side. Uh, panning out over the lake. That end of the lake is a dam. Uh, I think that was built a long time ago to contain the water in the lake. You can see a Apollo up ahead of me there. I don't know what he's got in his mouth. Looks like he found an old beer can or something. No telling how old that beer can is. And sun's starting to set a little bit. Not a lot of really bright light, but pretty cool shadows. Hopefully I won't get too much lens flare from the sun hitting the lens. And maybe not too much shaking because uh, it's hard to walk and look at the camera at the same time. You can see uh, a few trees that fell during a storm we had recently. Well, not recently, um, but a while back, a lot of trees fell. Uh, some people call those widow makers because. Uh, you could be walking along out here and one could fall over and hit you on the head, but I guess as long as you have enough sense not to be walking around in the woods during the storm, you'll probably be okay. <laughs> yeah. And panning over the lake again a little bit. It's really, really peaceful today. Not much of a wind, nice little gentle breeze and kind of cool actually. Up ahead you can see some of our boats. Uh, one's a paddle boat. I think the only thing wrong with it, the rudders broke off, but no big deal. That could be easily fixed, I think. I think the paddles still work. And we have three boats. Um, small boats. Nobody uses a paddle boat. I think they use it sometimes when they go out there just to swim and goof off. This is the main boat everybody uses. For fishing or whatever just use the paddle sometimes they bring a trolling motor and use that and then the other boat I don't even think it's ever used um, you can see the house from here a little bit this road here comes up this used to be all brush going up through to the house and it was really hard to get through but our friend did cleared that out for us too I'll just walk up this way a little bit so you can see it made it a lot easier to get through here. Sometimes when it rains it gets a little slippery. You can see the chicken coop right there at the edge and the house up there a little further. I think Elaine might be sitting on the porch right now but she got the shade pulled down to keep the sun out of her eyes. Hey, going back down this way a little bit. Back on the uh, west side again. And head back north, continue north. This tree fell during the storm. This is a big old tree. I'm glad I wasn't standing here when it fell. You can see the size of that root up there. And uh, Chris came over and we all cut the tree up to get it out of the way so we could pass through here without any problems and take the four-wheeler through. And another tree up here, the guy that 
push this road through for us. He, he pushed this tree down. A little after we first moved in here, he called that one a widow maker, and it sure was because it could have fell any time because it's kind of rotten. You can see that it was already rotten. And uh, it's nice to have that one down so I don't have to worry about it. And continuing north here, um, sun's starting to really set low, so the light's not that great. You can probably hear Wendy's dogs barking in the background. They're the little dogs. All of our dogs probably, I think all seven of her dogs probably won't even make a whole dog with one of ours. And almost at the tip of the lake here. You can see back around there. Kyle's continuing to follow me here. And coming up here. Almost to the northmost side of the yard. And um, cool thing about this yard is uh, a long time ago, this used to be uh, not this road here, but up on the main road, they would come down here to this area and water their horses from the stagecoach because there was a spring here. It still is a spring here. It's an underground spring. And it comes up and flows down through our property here. I think it's probably what mainly fills the lake. You can see how green the grass is before it comes up through here. And uh, almost looks like a little creek, but it's really a spring, an underground spring. I haven't all the, went all the way up there because that's not on my property. But I might walk up there one day. Anyway, this is the northmost side, and I already made a video going up that way. Um, and uh, this is the northwest corner, and I the other video went from west to east from here, so uh, that video's uh, probably the first one I uploaded. There's another one of the trees that fell during the storm. Big old tree. You can see how big it is by the size of that root. And I'll probably head back through the brush here a little bit to the house. But you can see the house from here. And probably see Wendy's dog barely through there. And uh, Lane has the shade pulled on the deck again. And have a fire pit down here where we usually burn stuff, boxes and stuff. <clears throat> that way we don't fill up our trash cans too fast. But that's pretty much the tour of it. And there's the house from there. And, the and dogs are all going crazy. Anyway, that's it.